Hello and welcome to this first rigging tutorial in Cinema 4D. In this tutorial we will take a look at how to build a tilt rig in Cinema 4D. So for example we need a cube and this cube is now in the middle of our grid. We want to have it standing at our grid so we say in the right direction move 100 centimeters and our cube stands at the grid. So we switch to our front view and we want to tilt our cube at the right side and at the left side. So uh, I have to convert my cube into a polygon object and I have to say, okay, move the axis to the left side. Okay, maybe like this and then we rotate it. Okay, now we can tilt it at the left side. And if I want to uh, tilt it at the right side, um, I have to move my axis uh, to the right side and now I can uh, tilt my cube at the right side, but uh, that's a little bit uh, too much work. So we need a powerful rig for this. Uh, first of all, we set our axis back to the middle of our cube, center axis too. Okay, and we can work with any objects, but for this tutorial, we uh, work with joints because we can see better how it works. Okay, I open the characters menu and say, okay, I want a joint and this is my first joint. This joint I put to the top. So I say in the right direction, 200 centimeters and I name this joint top joint. I copy this joint one, two and I name the top round joint. This is my right joint and this joint top two is my left joint so we can name it left tilt so it's a little bit better to understand what it does tilt okay and we put the right joint to his tilt axis here right direction zero and x direction 100 centimeters and the left two is to his left tilt axis, it's here, y zero and x minus 100 centimeters. Wonderful. And our top joint, we group it to a null object and we name this null object bind. So in this uh, group, we can put everything uh, what we want to bind. And for example, this is our cube. So I put my cube underneath the top joint and if I rotate my top joint, you will see, okay, the cube is moving with the top joint. So this is our bind. And now we need for the top joint two null objects exactly at the position of the top joint. So we select our top joint and with a character menu, conversation, convert to null. This is our first null for the top joint. So this is our top right tilt orient because we want to constrain it to the top joint. So orient top right tilt. And we copy it with command orient top left tilt. Okay, and we put this orient top left tilt underneath the left tilt joint and the orient top right tilt underneath the right tilt joint. And now we can constrain our top joint. So we say right click, character tags, constraint, a simple piece are constrained and we need two fields. So we say add and we can put our orient top right tilt into this first field and our orient top left tilt into the second field. And now if we rotate our right tilt, you will see, okay, the cube is rotating or uh, with this right axis. And if we rotate our left tilt, you will see, okay, our cube is rotating with this left axis, but it's moving away from this axis. And that's not what we want to have. So we have 
to do a better rig. First of all, we need a controller and I would say we need a rectangle. This rectangle we put at the right plane in the object tab is a plane X set. And we move this rectangle controller 200 centimeters in the right direction up to the position of our top joint. And now if we move our rectangle controller in the X direction, our right tilt joint should rotate. And if we move it uh, in the negative X direction, our left tilt joint should rotate. So we do this with a simple expresso rig. We say, okay, right click Cinema 4D text Expresso. We put our rectangle controller into the Expresso editor and we say coordinates position position X. And maybe this would be for a character your hip controller, so we name it uh, hip hip CDL hip controller. Okay, and we need our right tilt joint and our left tilt joint. Hold command shift. Double click to see the whole naming of this node. And we say, okay, we need the rotation blue. Blue is banking. Okay, I say coordinates, rotation, banking. Coordinates, rotation, banking. I check it for the left tail joint. Okay, yeah, yes, that's uh, also banking. And if we put it together, you will see if you move your hip controller in the X direction, ooh, it's uh, rotating a little bit too much. Um, so for this, we have to convert the position X, which is in centimeters, to degrees uh, for the rotation, because uh, the rotation in Cinema 4D is in degrees. And that's very simple with a Expresso Calculate range mapper node. In this range mapper node we say okay output uh, range is degree and input range is user defined. So if we move our hip controller one centimeters in the x direction our output is 360 degrees. That's way too much. We need maybe five degrees. And now we put everything together. Bam. Okay. Now, bam, okay. And we move our controller and you'll see, okay, it's tilting very nice, but if I move it back in the negative direction, it should not rotate anymore. So I say in my range mapper, okay, please clamp lower. And now if I move it, you will see, okay, it's not rotating anymore. It's only rotating if I uh, move my controller at this direction and not at the negative direction. Wonderful. And now we do this for our left tail joint. So I copy my range mapper, command, and I say in this range mapper, please clamp upper because it's uh, the other rotation. And I put everything together. And now if we take a look at our front view, you see, okay, it's uh, moving like we want with this controller, but it's moving away from its axis. So we have to take a closer look at our constraint. And in our constraint, we say, okay, we have uh, two objects and both objects are at 100% rate. And we have to say, okay, um, if we move our hip controller in, the negative x direction, we only want to have our left tail joint at 100% rate. So how do we do this? First, we set our hip controller back to his uh, origin position and we need a new node Expresso Logic Compare node. And in this compare node, we say, okay, X direction, input, and we need a new node, Expresso general constant. And in this constant node, we say, okay, value is uh, zero and everything is wonderful. And we put this together like this. And 
our compare node compares our position x with uh, the constant node. So if we move our hip controller in the x direction and have a more movement than zero uh, centimeters, we should get from our compare node a one, so we can drive our rate. Okay, we need a new node, Expresso General Result, and you will see our output is at the moment at zero, because we have to set our compare node with the right function. So we have to say, okay, x direction is bigger than our zero in the constant. So I switch to the function, function bigger than, and now we get a one from our compare node. And if we move it in the other direction, you will get the zero. And that's very wonderful because we can drive with zero and one our constraint rates. So I move my hip controller back to his original position and I drop my constraint node into the Expresso editor and I say, okay, I want to rotate my right tilt. So this is my orient top right tilt. So I need this rate and put it in. I'd say output rate. And now if I move my hip controller, it's uh, rotating with uh, the left tilt. So we see, okay, it's working very good, but we have to drive our left tilt uh, rate also. So we put our left tilt rate inside the constraint. And now we have to uh, say, okay, our zero is the one. And we do this with a simple Expresso bool not node. So if I say, okay, output from our compare node into the input, and if I check it with my result node, you see you get a one. So it changes the zero to a one. Very wonderful, we put it together. And now we have finished our tail trick so if I move my hip controller, you will see, okay, it's rotating at this axis. And if I move it in the other way, you will see, okay, it tilts at the right uh, joint. And our tail trick is very nice and finished. Um, you can put everything underneath your master controller. So for example, we say, okay, we take a circle and say plane X set. So master controller, master, put everything underneath. And if you rotate your master controller like this, um, your hip controller is also working. So you have a very, very nice uh, Tiltwick. Thanks for watching this tutorial and goodbye.